All right, everyone, that's it for our discussion on asymmetrical pull-ups. We talked about what it looks like. Generally, a shoulder kind of elevates, both of them kind of round forward. You can't get your shoulder blades back. You can't get your chest up to the bar, and you just look kind of twisted and tilted. Um, what is going on? It's generally the rib cage. It's generally not the shoulder. It looks like the shoulder is happening. It looks like the shoulder is the problem, and it feels like the shoulder, maybe the neck is the problem sometimes. You get this tight side of the neck on the side that elevates. Um, you don't feel the upper back muscles. Sometimes you don't feel the lats very much. What I'm here to tell you is if you can position your rib cage and then cue the exercise effectively, then it's gonna take you a lot longer and it's gonna it's or it's gonna take you a lot further, sorry, and it's going to help you fix this asymmetrical problem. Um, we talked about our three-step approach to fixing this rib cage asymmetry. We have to fix the sagittal plane, we have to kind of bring the ribs down. Um, and back, and then we have to fix the frontal plane. We have to kind of bring that rib on the left side inward a little bit, and then we have to fix the transverse plane. We talked about the symmetry in the body. We're generally rotated to the right in this lower rib cage area. All we want to do is teach us how to rotate to the left and stay there and breathe that way without, you know, losing our position. We talked about five different exercises. My favorite one to use with basically everyone is rocking. You just grab your toes and you rock back and forth. Uh, then we move to a left knee elevated rock back to start getting some of that asymmetrical fix, um, but still focusing on getting those ribs down and turning the abdominals on. The third exercise we talked about looked like a fetal position and you just kind of fell out of a chair. You're laying on your right side, your knees are bent up and you're just trying to scrunch that left side. Learn what it's like to turn on the left abdominals. And if you can, pull your left knee back a little bit while everything is still rounded. Um, it just helps start getting us more into steps two and three, frontal plane and transverse plane for fixing this. Then we started laying on some more difficulty. We did a half kneeling cable push. Make sure you're not arching your back while you do that. You need to be very active in the abdominals so that you can get an active stretch in the hip flexor, not just a push myself forward stretch in the hip flexor. And after I can find that, then I can turn myself to that left side, secure myself over there, and then I can do the cable push, okay? So a lot of the benefit of this one is in the setup. If you can't get the setup, you're not going to be correct with it. And if you're having trouble with your pull-up, you're probably losing the setup after a couple reps. So you might need to reset a couple times. But again, we're we're adding complexity into these positions that you've already found. And the, the last way we did that was with some single leg exercise, a step up or a single leg RDL. We teach you how to hike your left hip up and bring your left shoulder down to kind of scrunch that side together and teach the rib cage how to be loosey goosey. Um, last thing that I want to add just to uh, kind of bring this all together is you're free to try your pull-up again after you do some of these things. Um, you don't have to do all of them before you try it again, but I think you're gonna be more successful if you do. Uh, and I, I think you're gonna be more successful if you do them every day for four weeks, especially. You can experiment until then. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna tell you that you can't do pull-ups. Maybe you should do some pull-downs though and do something with a lighter weight or a band-assisted pull-up just until you can figure out the right position, just until you can get yourself to a symmetrical pull-down with those upper back muscles turning on and your your chest kind of coming to the bar and feeling the lats turn on so that you have all the right muscles going on. And that's, you know, that's how I'm generally cueing myself. If I feel both sides of muscles, I feel like I'm not quite as twisted. If it feels really normal to me, and I know it looks terrible, <laughs> it looks really crooked generally, um, especially if I feel it in this upper neck, that's another indication that I'm not getting it quite where I want. Big things though are just try to pull yourself symmetrically, um, lower the weights as much as you need to, even more than you need to, just so you can get some good reps in. 
Um, and then, oh yeah, try to pull your shoulder blades back together a little bit more. And generally that's, that's like the biggest cue that people mess up to get that extra motion. They just turn the whole shoulder forward to come, to come all the way up there. What I'd like to see is not just your chin clear in the bar, but your sternum almost hitting the bar at there. And you should feel the muscles between your shoulder blades turn on along with the lats that do most of the motion. Thank you for watching this video on asymmetrical chin-ups and pull-ups and whatnot, what have you. Um, hopefully I gave you a lot of homework. Hopefully I didn't bore you to death early on and you kept watching all the way through here. Um, if you did, leave me a comment. I'd love to know if you're actually <laughs> listening to these. Um, and if you are, thank you for watching and feel free to share with all of your friends, especially the ones who would care about what I say.